we welcome this opportunity to present to you the National E-Governance Plan. Each day, over 50 million people wait outside government offices across the country. They wait because waiting is what they and their ancestors have done for decades. What we are seeing here is a massive system failure. The old Tottenham system of information management, introduced by the British 150 years ago, was good for an imperial age. Today, in a society of a billion people, it builds up into mountains of rotting paper. And within these mountains lie buried the hopes and aspirations of our citizens. Our citizens deserve a better deal. They have a right to a clean and efficient government that works, not just at the top policy levels, but also at the administrative and operational levels. Here's the National E-Governance Plan. Here's an action plan that has the power to transform the entire nation, that has the power to lift the gloom off a billion grateful hearts and replace it with new hope and energy. In today's age, e-governance can be the right answer. World over, e-governance has more to do with good governance and less with the E. The E stands for electronic, but could just as well stand for efficient, effective or excellent. In fact, it is all of these and more. Wherever it has been successfully implemented, e-governance has thrilled the citizens. Many small and medium-scale projects have proved its effectiveness beyond all doubt. E-governance is about touching people, about transforming their relationship with the government, about improving the quality of their life. Project Bhumi in Karnataka Land records have traditionally been a domain of delay and corruption. To get a land title certificate meant several days of running behind the system. Today, any land-related document in Karnataka is available within 30 minutes at a cost of just 15 rupees. Project Sampark in the city of Chandigarh has pleasantly surprised its citizens. Interaction with government agencies used to be tedious. Now 18 government services are under one roof. Work is done in minutes. In the state of Andhra Pradesh, a unique tele-agriculture project called Isagu has made its mark. Using a handful of educated farmers as coordinators equipped with a detailed questionnaire, digital cameras and computers, agricultural scientists at Hyderabad were able to offer a personalized consultancy service to thousands of cotton farmers in select villages. Their guidance was on a week-to-week -week basis, following the entire crop cycle, ensuring better yields and lower costs. While dozens of smaller projects like Bhumi, Sampark and Eseva 
have proved their point. The dream of implementing the National E-Governance Plan remains what it is, just a dream. The finest minds in the country have thought the plan out, down to its tiniest detail. It is both a practical vision document as well as an intricate roadmap to the future. A future where no Indian will waste his time in waiting. Yes, the National E-Governance Plan will open the doors to the future. Many mission mode projects will be implemented in several ministries of central as well as state governments. The impact will be widespread and substantial. Years from now, we will look back at these times with an incredulous smile and wonder how on earth we as a nation ever got along without e-governance. India and Indians will never be the same again. Picking just one out of the multitude of mission mode projects, the eBiz portal. This will completely transform the way business and government will interact with each other and also the way the world will interact with India. Highlighting just one facet. Starting a new business in India takes an average of 89 days, compared with three days in Australia and one day in Singapore. The eBiz portal will deliver services of many government agencies through a single window and reduce this waiting time considerably. To take the benefits of e-governance to the grassroots level, the plan also lays special emphasis on the creation of one lakh common service centers spread across the length and breadth of rural and urban India. Yes, the national e-governance plan is an idea whose time has long since come. The need of the hour is to build capacities and develop program management skills at the policy, executive and operational level. India needs the commitment of her leaders to translate this vision of an e-India into reality. Thank you for your valuable time and attention.